video will focus on viewing the School Climate Survey reports. Reports are available for each of the School Climate Surveys for students, families, and school personnel. The reports for the students are listed here. In addition, the Middle High Survey includes scores by sexual orientation. This shows the reports for the Family and School Personnel Surveys. They do also include subscale scores. The family and school personnel subscales are similar, but they vary to capture specific information for families and school personnel roles. I will log into our PBS application site to demonstrate how to access, view, and print reports. We'll start by logging into our application demo account and go to PBIS Assessment Demo. As you can see, we land on our dashboard and up at the top there's a section called reports. We're going to click on survey reports. For today's survey we're going to focus on school climate. As you can see there are elementary, families, middle high, and school personnel. We're going to look at a couple of these. We'll start out with our total score report and we're going to look at our demonstrations exemplar school and then we're going to gender. We'll start by looking at the total score report. We can see that with our school here, they had 210 respondents last year, 456 this year, and their total average increased slightly, um, and they are on an upward trend. Let's look at another report. We have gender, grade, we'll just look at gender for now and generate. See here how many females and how many males took took this and we can see there's other and then no response. So this gives you an overview. These are available, the gender and the race ethnicity are available on all the reports. The grade is included in the elementary and the middle school. Let's look here at the scores by items because it can be a little confusing. We have scores by items and then we have items. So let's look at scores by items. and. When we get to this level, we want to look at the most current year to get our information. So we can see here that this shows the scores by items. And if you look down here, these are all the questions that are on the survey. If you hover over any of these, it'll tell you which question. So this gives us an overview of which questions did they score the highest on, and we want to celebrate which ones did they score the lowest. In this example here, Question three was the highest, and if we look at that, my school wants me to do well. And then question 11 was the lowest, students in my class behave so that teachers can teach. So this gives us more information, but now we want to drill down more and get more information, and that's where the second items report comes in. So I'll go down here to items, and I'm going to generate. Now we can look for question 11 and we can look specifically at race, ethnicity, gender, grade, and see if there are any scores that are standing out as lower than the others or higher and where we could begin problem solving. This helps us to know if this is a whole school issue or if it's specific to race, ethnicity, to a gender, or to a certain grade level. The last report I want to show is an example of the families and school personnel report. They have the same reports available and the subscale is the only one that's different and so that's the one I'm going to generate here. Here's the family subscale score. With this report we see the overall as well as the different subscales within this survey. Down here, we can look to see which is the highest, which is the lowest, which do we want to focus on. So we see that interpersonal relationships are the highest. That's something to celebrate. Our lowest was 3.3 parental involvement, which is relatively um, low compared to the others. However, it's still over 3, which is something to celebrate, but it is something we'd want to look into more. The surveys use a 1 to 4 point scale, with 1 being the lowest and 4 being the highest. As we review the reports, it's important to celebrate successes as well as look for areas of needed improvement. Celebrate and share those items three or greater, and then identify one to three items that are less than three for team action planning. View the School Climate Series Part 3 video for information on action planning. Thank you for viewing Part 2 in our School Climate Survey video series. Part 3 is on action planning. If you have any questions, be sure to contact us at support at pbisapps.org. Thank you.